So we've already looked at matrix multiplication. So here's a standard matrix multiplication. Here, here's the answer here. And we've only really looked at it from a mechanical point of view. How do I do it? But let's look at an application of matrix multiplication. These are tables of numbers, but these values must mean something. So let's let's put some uh, labels to these tables. All right, so we're going to be talking about like uh, super cheap autos, uh, a place that sells car stuff. So the usual price of their wiper blades is seven dollars. Uh, brake fluid three dollars. Floor mats twelve dollars. The discount price. Let's say they they do discounts. Six dollars, two dollars, and ten dollars. So we've got some context there. Let's throw some context around this second matrix. So this second matrix says how many items are sold in shop A, so a super cheap auto over there, and in shop B, a super cheap auto over there. So shop A sold 20 wiper blades, whereas shop B only sold 15. Now, now that we've got this, this context, we can take the two matrices and shove them into a third matrix. Now, what does that third matrix represent? Well, let's take a look at what these matrices are. This is a two by three matrix. And this is a three by two matrix. And you've been told before that we can multiply these because the columns of this matrix um, line up with the, with the um, rows of this matrix. Now look at the columns of this matrix, compare them to the rows of this matrix. They're the same, right? Wipers, brake floor, wiper, brake floor. That's why we can multiply these together. Not only does the number of those represent uh, are the same, but also the actual labels on them are the same. Now, you've also been told that when we multiply these together, the rows two come from this matrix, so that we know that the matrix that we create is going to have two rows. And the rows actually come from here. And it's going to have two columns, two columns, one, two. And the columns are actually going to come from here. That means that we can label up our new matrix as having these rows and these columns. So you can see the rows from the first matrix represent the rows from our solution and the columns from the second matrix represent the columns from our solution. And these ones here, they kind of get cancelled out when we when we multiply them together. So that's what we that's what matrix multiplication is achieving in this context. It just says that shop A would make $266 if they sold those items at their usual prices. They would only make $220 if they sold those items at the discount and similar for shop all right that's the big takeaway there you take the labels from the rows of the first matrix and you take the labels from the columns of the second matrix and they're going to be the labels for the rows and the columns of the resulting matrix matrix multiplication a great way to take information from two tables and put them together into a meaningful third